the concept of the show, Transfigured, which really means like a metamorphosis or a, a changing, which could be like a uh, caterpillar uh, to a butterfly, or it could be spiritual, it could be emotional, it could be with ideas and ideals, and we all go through changes and we all morph into things and we all are affected by things that make us react different ways or, or behave different ways. So these are kind of the broad concepts and all their works, which we'll find out, uh, touch on those ideas too. And, and they're very personal, but they're also very uh, communicative and they're about our culture and our society and how we treat one another because all these artists are communicators. And, and uh, for me, that's what art is about. It's communicating and having a dialogue. So a lot of my work deals with how technology affects us, affects our lives, affects our identities. Um, but I expand upon that using you know, metaphors. Um, so the newer work also deals with that. But my, my work is really rooted in people and humanity and, and thinking about what's going to happen when we look outside of the screen and into ourselves a little bit more. As a photographer, I can't start with a blank canvas. I have to bring in something um, that I can bounce off. And so often I'll work with models and dancers. In this instance, I was using these documents that were the choreography of an attack of hysteria. They invented all these incredible documents with these poses that they said were the, the typical phases of the attack, the period of clownism and the period of delirium, period of passionate attitudes. So I took this as a kind of piece of choreography and I had my models enact it and I 3D scanned them. I started replicating images of sculptures I'd found online from the Indus Valley, which were from like 3500 BC. And there were these tiny little earthen female figurines that were found in Sindh, which is where my family is originally from. I fell in love with the form and I started to recreate it. And when I found the form, I had been looking for this particular Indian goddess called Lajagauri, who is always shown with her legs wide open in the birthing position. I feel like I wouldn't have been able to make the sculptures themselves un until I became a mother. Through the whole process of pregnancy and birthing and after, and that is that is what I think came out a lot in, in this sculpture. That's what allowed me to break that taboo for myself of sculpting that form. That piece is called Garden of Eden, and the idea is that it's a modern day version of the Garden of Eden where uh, these two figures can only communicate through their, their devices. Um, and they're trapped in this cabinet asking the question like, are you God now keeping these two characters in the cabinet? Or is God the technology that they're using? To me, it's the idea of sort of taking this story that's problematic um, and updating it with new problems of technology now. And the modern day temptation obviously being our, our device that's on us. My work has, I was thinking when, earlier when you asked about evolution in work, my work used to be much less um, handmade and I would show the white 3D printed material straight out of the machine and I wouldn't alter it at all. It had this very clean and very designy, cold aesthetic. I'm not sure if I'm thinking about my works being anything except a marker of the time in which they are made and to stand for that time, for example, right? So what I mean by that is this piece is talking about um, the extraordinary number of black trans women that are killed in this country. 